Okay, so I know that your club likes to do jumping on day two, and I, I'm, I totally agree. But what I want you guys to work on first is having a bit more stability with your skaters and more control to really sink back and use their hips upon landing. What I see so much with kids is that they jump and they slam their feet and their knees go forward. And this is gonna lead to injury. What you need to be able to do when you're jumping is land soft and, and land with your hips back. You use your glutes to kind of shock absorb. And that's what the hip hinge is gonna teach you how to do. So the first thing you need to do is find a whole bunch of broomsticks or you can go to Home Depot and buy PVC pipe, a really thin one, or just wooden dowels. This is, these are not expensive things. They're gonna help your kids pick up the, hitch, the hip hinge way faster. And so the reason, it, the reason you need this, these things, like, when you're using a broom, a dowel, whatever you have, it needs to touch in three places. One on the back of their head, one in between their shoulder blades, and then right on their bum. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna have them put one hand behind their neck, one hand behind their low back. There should naturally be spaces there between their, their body and the dowel. And then you wanna have them hinge at their hips, sit back like they're reaching for a chair and their shoulders come forward and that's it. And then you bring them back up. So I'm gonna have you turn to the side a little bit so you're, uh, there you go. Yep, right, right here. Um, so go down and hold it. You want them to go down until they feel a stretch in their hamstrings. I think Betsy can go a little farther. How's that? Yeah. Yeah, she can go a little farther. So you want them to go so they feel a stretch in their hamstrings, and that's it. But the key here is that they keep those three points of contact at the head, the shoulders, and on the bum, and there's still space between their low back and their neck for their hands to rest. So this is pretty important. If they round their back out, it'll look like this. See how she lost her head contact and her, her bottom contact? She's, now she's just in the shoulders. So go back to normal. So now she has a flat back, neutral spine. Sometimes they will over arch. So and now she has her head and her bum, but not, not behind her shoulder blades. But push it back. This is why having that constant feedback of having the dowel on a kid's back is gonna help them so that as soon as they lose one of those points of contact, you just have to say, hey, where's your head? Where's your shoulders? Where's your bum? And they can put it right back to that dowel pretty soon. They're gonna have awesome muscle memory on how to keep a flat back in every exercise, well, every non-skating specific exercise that they do.